Pirates here at CPAC. She's been speaking a little bit, making the rounds. Um, this year, more than ever, Reagan seems to be on people's minds. It's Hunter's birthday, so how do you think his message is resonating now, not only because it's his birthday, but also because of the situation we're in with yeah. Barack Obama being the complete opposite and really missing him more than ever at this oh point Oh my time. gosh, that's exactly right. I mean, yeah. right now when freedom is literally on the precipice mm -hmm. because of what Obama has done, because of the direct attack against freedom by this administration, right. um, I think there is this urgency about returning to Reagan's principles. It's not going back. It's using the principles and ideas of Ronald Reagan, which are timeless. Right to move forward and we just are coming out today we're screening a new film called Still Point and a Turning World and it's about Reagan and it's about how closely paralleled Obama and Carter are together yeah. but the problem is young people right now don't remember what it was like when Jimmy right. Carter was president and right. they don't realize how everything can turn around when Reagan's ideas are championed so our goal is to bring Reagan to life through this film um, for young people so they'll really understand how um, relevant Reagan is right. to, the, just like you said, the situation that we're in right now. Right, I think we're actually talking to the director a little later today. Good, so Steve that'll Bannon, be, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that'll be good. So um, we are seeing more young people yes. turn to Republicans rather than Democrats, more registered Republicans for young people. Right. Um, do you think people are finally waking up and saying, I don't have a job, I can't get a job? Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, all these young people who turned out in droves to vote for Democrats right. are now stepping back. They're not totally turning away from Obama, but they're stepping back sort of wondering what went, what, what they voted for. Yeah. <laughs> but this study a few years ago showed that about equal number of young people prefer socialism to capitalism. Now, that should make all of us take a big right. gasp because we can't assume that young people are going to embrace the ideas of Reagan, freedom, freedom markets. Um, we have to convey these ideas to them. They right. didn't hear Reagan's voice. They didn't see him. They didn't live through that transformational yeah. period. Um, yeah. You probably weren't even born. No. I don't know. Yeah, yeah exactly. So My parents miss him, that's for sure. That's exactly right. And so now yeah. young people are wondering, well, isn't equality, equality of results, shouldn't we all have the same? Right. Well, no, actually, because right. that brings everybody down. Right. And so trying to explain to young people how more government limits individuals how um, limiting government unleashes the power right. of individuals to succeed and, and um, flourish. So uh, there's no better spokesman for conservative ideas than Ronald Reagan. Right. And you know what? We can bring Reagan back to life. It's our job. It's our responsibility. And no, we're not saying, oh, we have to have him back. But yes, we have to have his ideas back. Right. And, you know, we do that through the Reagan Ranch out in Santa right. Barbara. Right, which is a great place. And I was so happy that Sarah Palin got to go yes. there because, you know, I've been there and it's just... You get to really see how humble a man Ronald Reagan was. And exactly. Just how simple he was, and really get a feel for his personal side it's, and why he is the way, or why he was the way he yeah. was. You know. So. You know, it is a pilgrimage. Yaff um, saved the ranch about 13 years ago, and it's exactly as it was when Reagan was right. president. Right. And um, Sarah Palin and Dick Cheney both came out for our 100th birthday celebration right. last weekend. But it was great because Sarah came to the ranch. Right. And really, nobody rides horses out there. We just don't do it. It's closed to the public but she went on a horseback ride on right. the trails that Reagan rode. Right. And um, it was such a great moment. And yeah. looking at her, looking out over the Psalm 121 overlook where he said he really got his inspiration. He said his um, when he goes to the ranch, it's like I lift up my eyes into the hills from right. which cometh my strength. And you could see her looking out and sort of receiving that same kind of right. strength. And obviously it was a huge experience for her, but what a thrill that some of the biggest names in the conservative movement still feel the need to connect with Reagan and to be inspired by him. I just right. love that. Well, I think it's great because when these big names do go there, I think they are even humbled. I mean, oh, you show up at the Reagan they're Ranch. They're shocked. And, right, and they are shocked. Yeah. And even I was a little shocked. Yeah. It's just one of those things that really takes everyone back. Yes. Just, brings you back to earth a little well, bit. Well, that's why young people like you going there, and they've been fed this drivel by their college professors right. and by the media that Reagan was this um, idiot, that he right. slept all the time, idiot. that he never lifted a finger, that he was this right. Hollywood elite, and yet you go there, right. and you see this beautiful place. It's a 1,600-square-foot right. adobe house. Yeah. He laid the um, patio with his hands. He built the fences. Right. I mean, can you see Barack Obama clearing the brush <laughs> no. with his uh, power saw? I can't no. see that happening. Yeah. No, um, I don't think that would ever that's, uh, happen. That's yeah. right. 
right? So you see these young people, their mouths just, their jaws drop right. when they see this place. And so we've tried, we can't take every young person in America to the ranch, right. but we've tried to capture it a little bit in this movie, Still Point, right. that Steve's going to talk about and that we're going to debut tonight at 8 o'clock. Yeah, Young America's Foundation has done a really great job of giving young people opportunities to really show why conservative principles are good for them and good for their future, right. good for the future of their country. So may we always remember Ronald Reagan moving forward That's and right. hopefully we'll see some of that come out going into 2012. We need a lot of it right now. Yep. Thank That's you very right. much. I appreciate it. Thanks for it. having me. Yep.